Hey crafty people, it's Tasha. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making two cards, well no, two cards plus a bonus with some of the products from the latest release. So this large love die, I love it <laughs> and I'm going to be using that in today's videos. Video, there's only one video, today's cards. <laughs> So I've got a rainbow of Catherine Pooler inks here um, I will have all of the colours listed and linked over on the blog post um, and I'm just taking each one in turn and swiping it across the, the paper. It looks like that's what I'm doing and that is literally all I'm doing here. Um, I'm just taking those ink pads directly to the paper and just swiping. I've not planned out whether I'm going to evenly cover the the cardstock or any of that jazz I'm just doing it um a few of my ink pads need re-inking because it does take a lot of ink when you're doing this all the time so I decided to add a few squirts of water from my distress sprayer just to get a little bit of texture running through that um, and then I did set that aside to fully dry so moving on to the second design whilst that background is is drying so i cut the love die from some nina 80 pound um and you're gonna get the outline um and all of the insides for the letters so i'm gonna keep that outline white but i'm taking all of those inside pieces um and i'm just adding some color to them and again the quickest and easiest way to do this is just to put them direct to the the ink pad um catherine pooler ink pads are awesome for this yeah i, I do i do love them <laughs> so i've chosen four colors that i think work nicely together um a nice color scheme for the card as a whole um, and i've also decided which parts of the letters are going to be which letter because you've got areas where they cross over so you want to know in advance which bits you are going to make basically where they cross over you need to decide what color you're going to make that area so for example at the top where the l and the o cross over each other i decided that that was going to be the the l was in front so you just need to know that and, and bear that in mind whilst you are colouring. So I've just worked my way through all of the different pieces. You want to be sure that you get all of those little tiny pieces um, because, yeah, they matter. So this is one of the cover dies from the release. I love it, um, especially love it because it's A2 sized and that is my go-to. So it, it's a sort of panel with with stitched hearts all around the outside so cute so I doubled up the outline for love just on just both of them are just white cardstock and um, I just wanted to make it a little bit more dimensional if that makes sense just I don't even know if that's a word <laughs> but um yeah so I have added um that just with some glue on the back straight down onto that white card panel um but because you've got that stitching detail around the outside that's going to give some interest and um texture to the background so it's not just a plain white background so i've got all of my little pieces there in place i've worked my way all the way down through each letter at a time um and i think you'll agree that that is a cute color scheme I love it. Um, I'm watching TV while I, I make this. <laughs> I started watching Netflix on my daughter's tablet, so I'm I'm doing that whilst. <laughs> That's why I'm like gesticulating, like I'm talking. I was getting frustrated at the crime drama that I was watching. So to kind of kick these up a notch, I decided to add some beautiful sparkle and um, so I grabbed out my clear Wink of Stella pen um like do you guys remember Wink of Stella I, I love I, yeah I love them and I've not used them for ages but I bought myself a new one recently and I love it love so I just covered all of those letters in it so now my background other background is dry um 
I've cut the love from that rainbow panel um, and I'm just showing you there that I've still got that and I've got all of the pieces still attached because you really need to keep all of the pieces for the technique that we're going to be doing here. So I've then added some double sided adhesive to another panel of Nina um, and I've cut the love out again. So I've now got one that is rainbow and all of the inside pieces um, and the whole of the panel from that rainbow um, and then I've got another that is sticky cardstock <laughs> essentially. Um, when you are doing this though you do need to be sure that you put your die on the right side because you don't want to end up with a backwards word so you need to put the die that is on like onto the sticky side because we're going to be coating these in some sparkles I love doing this I know it's a technique that you've seen me do a lot but that's because a I love it and b it's easy and c it's magnificent so <laughs> <laughs> Once I've peeled off the backing for that, I'm starting with the outline bit and then I'm just going to whack a load of wow sparkles on the top. So I'm using the Essentials Sparkles in Gold Dust. They are super fine, so they're going to cling on to this um, double-sided adhesive and you're not going to get any fallout. I just make sure that I give them a bit of a shake and I burnish the glitter itself in and I also like to just give them a sort of rub with my hands before I put the card together and that's just to make sure that any excess glitter has come away so it's not going to go come off all over my recipient because I would hate that. So oh, that's my gold outline um, but then I'm going to coat all of the inside pieces as well. I was a little bit lazy with this and I decided to just peel the backing or fronting in this case um, and just plunk them straight down into the glitter that I already had on my paper. Um, no sense funneling it back just to tip it all out over these again so yeah I just just did that <laughs> but because this glitter is so fine and because this is really good double-sided adhesive that is more than enough to coat the the letters. So I'm just going to work my way through using my tweezers to help me um, so that I don't get or I, I get as little glitter on me as possible um, and I love I love the way this gold because you know there's different tones or colours, gold colours um, and I love the tone of this one and I think it looks so beautiful with rainbow um, I'm just yeah super excited so in case you hadn't sort of got it yet what I'm doing is I've got that rainbow panel that I've cut the love from and I've got now um, a love outline and the inside bits that are glittery and I'm going to do a bit of a an inlay technique to use up all of those pieces so that we've got no waste going on there so that's why you need to make sure that you keep all of the little bits that when you've cut that love from the rainbow um, because we're going to add everything back in and if you've got something missing that's going to be a big glaring hole. Um, ask me how I know. <laughs> so I think I am just, yeah that's it, I'm done with the glitter. So once I'd cleared all that up I've just glued a bit of printer paper onto the back of the card panel um, just because this is my favourite way to glue all of these together without adding any bulk. And then I've added glue to the back of the glittery outline love and I'm just adding that back in place and then I'm going to take all of those inner parts of the letters um, and also the centre from that O and um, out of the rainbow and I'm going to add all those back where they go. So it's going to be one continuous rainbow all the way across the panel but with love in gold glitter and I love that. And yes, you could just put an 
an outline, a gold outline on top of a, a standard panel um, and sort of skip all of the inlay stuff and the die cutting. But I didn't want to. I really love the inlaid look. I love that it's all level. Um, I just think it's a really fun and eye-catching technique. Um, and it just makes me happy to puzzle all those bits back together and you get two for one because I'm going to use all of the extra bits. So, um, it's, it's good. So I'm just adding all of those pieces in. Um, I did decide to just sort of press each bit down with my bone folder just before I stuck it down, just to make sure that it was sort of flat, that it was going to fit properly back inside that gap. So it's when I got to the E that I realised I was missing some bits. <laughs> so I went on a bit of a mad rush trying to find them. Um, stop and skip forward a bit. So I found the little bit that goes there between the E and the V, but I could not find the little bit that goes at the top of the V. But luckily, I had some extra bits where I've cut the white die cuts. Um, so, and also luckily, <laughs> the bit that was missing is only one colour. So I could just really easily take one of the white bits, plonk that back onto the same yellow ink pad that I used for the rainbow here. Um, and I did manage to get away with that. <laughs> but it was it was close I thought I was gonna have to just I just don't know I was just like no I thought I might have to just put a gem there or something to cover it <laughs> but luckily it was fine it was fine we sorted it so this is our bonus with the leftover bit um, and you know I keep calling this a leftover but it's not this card is fabulous in its own right I love it I keep saying love it <laughs> but I do so I've not shown you all of the same thing again because I'd already shown you that so I just did it and put that bit in there next I cut out some sub sentiments from the brighter days ahead sentiment pre-printed sentiment set um I like the reverse ones where they're they look like they're white writing on black um, and just to disguise that white core of the paper, um, just so that it's not sort of glaringly there. Um, I do like to just go around with a black fine liner, uh, no, a black brush liner, <laughs> just to blacken those edges. I decided to add a really scruffy, messy frame around each of the rainbow panels um, with the fine liner. Then once I've decided which sentiment sub sentiment bits were going on which card I added those on with some foam adhesive so that they were going to be popped up a little bit from the background um, I just like how that juxtaposes with the completely flat inlaid that's behind them so I like the little playful sentiments that you have in that brighter days pack um like the little i heart you hugs and kisses um i just really love you which i think is so cute and love you um and whilst yes you know this release is sort of looking at valentine's but romantic love isn't the only kind of love that we should be celebrating. You can give anyone that you love a card for Valentine's Day or just to let them know that you love them. Everybody likes to hear that, right? Please hit that like button, leave us a comment if you feel like it, um, and if you aren't already subscribed then it would mean the world to us if you would hit that button. Don't forget to also hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our, let's face it, awesome videos. <laughs> I hope that you have a lovely, happy, safe and wonderful week. Stay crafty, guys. Bye.